It's cold. It's so big. The glacier is so blue. We left home to travel the world and brought work with us. Follow the journey as we immerse ourselves in cultures around the globe and inspire others to do the same. We're Brandon and Aaron. Subscribe and stay tuned. We are back in El Calafate where we found a brewery called La Soda that had great happy hour deals. On our way back to our hostel, we found friends who tagged along. There's dogs everywhere. <laughs> Out of nowhere. This one's crazy. This one. Yeah, that one's it, insane. It just like runs into the car. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my that's god. What, that's what it did to the other car. Oh my god. These socks are insane. <laughs> oh! Oh, they're coming. Oh, he's coming with a vengeance. <laughs> This dog literally followed us the entire way home. And he was like a sweet dog. He just kind of wanted to like be with us. And now it propped itself up. It is Wednesday morning and we are heading to Perito Moreno Glacier. The girls went on a full day tour walking on the glacier doing a boat ride um one it was out of our price range and two we had already done the exploratorius glacier so we decided to opt out this day is just so incredible it's the coolest experience i think i've ever had honestly. but we're still driving to the national park to see the glacier and explore a little bit a huge boat. This glacier is so beautiful. We've never seen a glacier that's so starkly contrasts against the water. Like it just drops off and there's a huge cliff right next to the water. It's really cool. This is the first viewpoint, but I think we're gonna get even closer. We continued driving down the hill, got to a car park, and they have shuttles that take you from the parking lot to the glacier. Granted, we're not going to be going on the glacier, but just trying to get as close as possible. It's pretty chilly. I don't know if I'm dressed appropriately. <laughs> I'm wearing leggings and a fleece. It's cold. The glacier is so blue. I don't know if you could see really from the film, but like in the crevasses, it looks like an electric blue color. It's really, really cool. So many trails. It's kind of like a maze. I'm like, how do I get over there? Because this one just goes down. I want to go like over there. Okay, then let's. That must come from the other side. Let's do that. <laughs> Pretty cloudy today, but you can't even see where the glacier ends. The front of the glacier is like a 20-story building. It's so big. Yeah. Perito Moreno Glacier is a part of the Patagonia Ice Field, which is the third largest ice field in the world. This glacier is rare in that it is non-retreating. Nearly all of the glaciers around the world are retreating or have disappeared entirely due to global warming, but Perito Moreno continues to accumulate mass at a rate similar to that of its loss. I wish we could see where Marybeth, Lauren, and Rachel are. I should have told Mary to wear a bright orange hat or something. They're somewhere on the glacier. And while Aaron and Brandon are down at the bottom of the glacier, <laughs> we're right here on top. 
I could probably sit here and watch the glacier for hours on end, just waiting for something to happen. It's just so beautiful and so magnificent to see. But we've been here for a while now and it's getting cold. That's my own fault. And I think we'll head back up. Oh, people are like, <laughs> like posing. Yeah, guys. We found them again. <laughs> Actually, you found us. Feel so At Marino Iglesia? Perito Moreno. Perito Moreno. This Spanish is a lot better than it <laughs> Not saying much. Yeah, right. After getting back from the glacier, we were really, really hungry. So we just made a quick, simple thing of pasta. But we have this super cute cabin that we get to eat in. Marybeth just texted me that they are back from their glacier tour. So we're gonna head to the main hostel, catch up with them, probably go get something to eat, and then who knows what's gonna happen. Super lodgy. Uh, we are loving this hostel. We went up into the little loft area today to have our nightly beers, and it's just so cute. Cheers. Salud. So we are leaving El Calafate and heading to Puerto Natales. It's about a four hour drive. And from there we have some renting of gear to do and just getting our lives together a little bit because tomorrow we start the W track. We're about 20 minutes away from the border of Chile and Argentina. So we're getting excited for this border crossing, aren't we? Woohoo! We're excited. We all have our passports ready. I'm excited. Um, the road has stayed paved, which is very nice. I wasn't sure if it was going to go back to a gravel road when we left El Calafate, but it's been fairly nice. Some potholes, but we're almost to the border. We're going back to Chile. What are you oh, most excited about for the W track? <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, you seem a little quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Hands are sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> this also kind of reminds me of the wall from Game of Thrones. The North Wall. Winter is coming. I think right here is my favorite section of the glacier because you can see all the crevasses. Crevasses. Day 12 on the alien planet. <laughs> So nice. We're starting our hike to Camp Gray and it's already pretty windy but You're like glacier, glacier, glacier. 